But first, articles of colorful clothing and ornaments tell the story of the person who wears them. The whole ensemble is called Regalia, and it helps preserve the heritage of an entire community. A local photographer with roots in the Potawatomi Nation has been documenting her people and their legacy. Producer Mark Vitale has the story. From children to elders and all ages in between, a photographer has captured images of her tribe and explored the bonds of community. I started in 2010. I have been a registered Potawatomi since I was a toddler in the 1950s. And so I had access. They asked me if I would come down and show some of my artwork because they knew I was a photographer. And I said, how about if we create some new artwork? Sharon Hoogstratton traveled to Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and other places where the Midwest Potawatomi were forced to relocate in the 1820s and 30s. She aimed her camera at people and their unique regalia. Maybe the best way to talk about regalia is to start with what it's not. It's not a reenactment. Most importantly, it's not a costume. A costume is something you put on to be something you're not. And regalia is all about who you are. Your story is woven into your regalia. It might be about your birth order. It might be about an important event in your life or gifts from other tribal members that you know. Or in respect to your ancestors, maybe your clan colors. So your regalia is never finished. It's always evolving and it tells your story. Her large format photographs preserve those stories. They are featured in a new book that is currently only being distributed to Potawatomi Nations. Hogue Stratton also worked at WTTW in the 1980s. She won an Emmy Award for the opening graphics of Chicago Tonight and for the original Chicago Week in Review. Even recently, some of her photos of Chicago were featured on the Chicago Tonight set, but these days she focuses on personal projects. These are just regular folks. They work in factories or they go to Stanford or all across the scale and they just came in to be part of this project. They weren't nervous or modest. I didn't have to coax them. They just came in and did it. It was really amazing. It was a gift. The pictures also spotlight many veterans of the United States Armed Forces. Native Americans volunteer at a higher percentage than any other ethnic group. Why would they do that after you know all these troubles with their past? Well, one, they do it to honor the ancestors. Two, this has always been their land and they will always defend it. So that starts to make some sense. There's a very positive mindset amongst our people that you stay on the red road. The red road is the good road. You are grateful for the things that you have from Mother Earth. What I love about Regalia is it's just proof that we are still here. When you see kids and, and older men and grandmothers and storytellers all taking such pride in their regalia and all the storytelling that is in each piece of regalia, there's no question, we are still here. For Chicago Tonight, this is Mark Vitale. Those colors, they are just beautiful, and I love this notion that a story is never finished, and therefore the regalia isn't either. Now, that book titled Dancing for Our Tribe, and so far just 25 copies have been printed. They went to the Potawatomi Nations for posterity. There are plans for a wider publication of the book in the new year. For now, though, you can see more of the photos on our website.